In this video I will talk about an issue that affects some lenses and it is called focus shift. In short, focus shift appears because of spherical aberrations and causes your images to appear less sharp than ideal at certain apertures. I have come to conclusion this issue might be more widespread than anyone thinks and there is surprisingly few good informations on the internet. On the very YouTube itself uh, there are only three videos, literally. I dare you to enter focus shift in the search bar, you will find two of them by Lloyd Chambers and third one by some other guy. Uh, yet even those three videos just demonstrate the issue and don't go into great detail about it. There is more information on various blogs and forums, but still I think this is a greatly overlooked issue. Also surprisingly few if any reviews out there test lenses for focus shift. Uh, I didn't mean to brag, but if you have seen some of my lens reviews in the past year, you have noticed I always test for focus shift. What I didn't do so far is to test lens sharpness when taking focus shift into account. Uh, I apologize for that, it simply didn't occur to me to do so. But from now on I will do that also, starting with uh, this Panasonic 25mm f1.7, uh, whose review is coming shortly. So enough of the chit chat, let's tackle the problem. Light rays that enter your lens on the edges are bent and intersect at one point. If you focus on that point, image will be sharp. But as soon as you stop down aperture, light rays from the center of the lens only will reach the sensor. When you have a lens that is not corrected for focus shift, these light rays will intersect at another point. Sometimes before and sometimes after the focus plane and your image will not be sharp anymore. The problem is that all DSLR and almost all mirrorless cameras are designed to focus with aperture wide open. Any type of focusing system works easier with a lot of light and if you try to focus with closed aperture, autofocus will not work or will become painfully slow. For lenses that suffer from this issue, it would be ideal to focus with closed down aperture, as in that case focus would be set on a proper location over here. I will talk a bit later how you can do that. Here is a real life example of the difference focus shift makes. I took this soon to be award winning selfie photograph. I focus directly to my eye. When zoomed in it looks ok, at the first glance, but plane of sharpest focus is actually on my eyebrow, not my eyelash where it should be. So I took another even more award winning selfie, but this time I focused in a way camera will do so with closed aperture. Focus is exactly on the eyelash now, not the eyebrow. Some portrait photographers went nuts over such things as their images appeared just a tad out of focus. If not aware about focus shift, a lot of blame might be set on the camera or faulty lens, which is not the case. Actually, you might sometimes read recommendations to buy a 100mm macro lens instead of 85mm portrait lens, as it supposedly gives more consistent results. Reason for that is that macro lenses are always focus shift corrected. The closer your subject is, the more focus shift will be of issue. Here is example of close focusing with the lens that exhibits focus shift. I think difference is pretty obvious. Sometimes it can even be visible when focused to infinity like this. No they are not. Manufacturers are very well aware of that issue and some lenses are corrected, usually by using so called floating element, others are not. On the downside, uh, floating element often causes very strong focus breathing, which while irrelevant for still image photography, is not wanted for video recording. Basically only if you test one or find a review that, that tests for focus shift. Manufacturers often do not say anything about focus shift and they do not point out when a certain lens is corrected for focus shift. No, you cannot. Focus shift comes from the very nature of the optical design, so if one lens sample exhibits the issue, all of them will have it. Not always. Don't think spending a lot of money will resolve focus issue in all lenses. One of the notable exceptions is the Canon 50mm f1.2 L lens. 
Uh, this lens is notorious for its focus shift at around f2.8 and that is a $1500 lens. Focus shift is mostly present on wide aperture primes. It will be mostly visible when you stop down aperture between f2.8 and f4. It depends on the very lens. For lenses that exhibit only a small amount of focus shift, closing down aperture will also increase depth of field. So this increased depth of field will mask uh, any potential focus shift. In fact, many manufacturers rely on that uh, in order to avoid designing better lenses. No, focus shift is completely irrelevant for video recording. As you record video, your aperture will constantly be closed at a value that you have selected. So any automatic or manual focus will be done with closed aperture and that will solve the problem. If you suspect one of your lenses might have this issue, procedure is simple. Print something like this on the paper, place your camera on a tripod and focus directly on the center word and take images at various apertures without readjusting focus in the process. If there is focus shift, it will look like this. You can clearly see the issue at f2.8 and especially f4. For comparison, here is a lens that doesn't exhibit focus shift. This is from different lens of the same focal length on same system. Autofocus adjustment will not resolve focus shift issue as there is no camera at this point that allows different settings for each aperture value and different subject distances. In fact, I am perplexed why some sort of automated process is not already implemented. Modern cameras can automatically correct vignetting, geometry, chromatic aberrations and so on. It would be easy for manufacturers to measure focus shift at all apertures and subject distances load data into lens and when shooting camera would apply different focus corrections based on aperture. There are three options. Option number one is to buy a different lens model which does not exhibit focus shift. If you do not want to spend any money there is the option number two and it goes like this. Take the lens that exhibits focus shift, mount it on the camera and place it on the table like this. No wait, wait. This is better. Now grab a can of cold beer and repeat these words after me. Life is too short to worry about such things. If you can do that, I envy you, because it's too late for me. Yes, I can, but oh boy, you're not gonna like this. Now, the theory is simple. All you have to do is to focus with the aperture closed. Now, the problem is that the cameras are usually not designed to work in such a way. So, you have to apply some tricks in order to uh, force the camera to focus with closed aperture. Uh, that will depend on a particular camera and sometimes even on a particular camera and lens combination. There is no rule. I will uh, explain this with Panasonic and Canon because this is what I have uh, with me at this moment. As for all of you on other systems, you will have to figure it out yourself. So first let's take a look what uh, can be done on Panasonic. Now first thing to do is to go into main menu and find a feature called constant preview. By default this is always set to off on Panasonic cameras, you need to set it to on. Now you need to rotate your uh, mode dial to manual exposure mode. Uh, now if you look at the lens and uh, rotate the dial, you will see that the aperture is opening and closing on the fly. This will work only in full manual mode, shutter aperture program mode will not respond. Uh, once uh, you are in manual mode, now you will be able to focus and while you focus you will see that the aperture is still closed. So basically the camera is focusing with closed aperture and compensating for focus shift. Now it is not simple as that. Um, if you shoot in low light conditions, camera will automatically open aperture no matter what to allow the camera to focus. Also if uh, you use uh, pinpoint uh, autofocus mode, 
uh, it will also not work, camera will automatically once again open a picture. So you will have to use one area face recognition or something like that. There is another catch, if you try to use manual focus, it will be once again disabled. Uh, as soon as you even touch the manual focus ring, you will notice the camera opens aperture. For Canon users it's a bit more complicated. No matter what you try, you will not be able to focus, to uh, use autofocus uh, with closed aperture. Uh, so the only thing you can do is to go to live view, uh, use focus magnification. Uh, you have to press this button over here, it is used as a DOF depth of field preview button. Uh, as you press it, you will notice that the aperture is closing. So while you hold the button with uh, one hand, you can at the same time use manual focus and find the perfect focus. But once again, it is not that simple. This works only for lenses with a mechanically linked focus ring. Uh, if you have uh, one of the STM stepper motor lenses like this 50mm 1.8, uh, as soon as you press depth of field preview button, uh, auto focusing will, uh, actually manual focusing also will be disabled. So now I hope you get the feeling how complicated all of this can be. I am actually perplexed why no manufacturer has integrated uh, a feature that will allow focusing lenses uh, with closed down aperture. Of course, if you have one of the old uh, manual lenses with a fully uh, manual aperture ring, all you have to do is to close aperture and uh, focus into live view uh, and uh, the problem will be resolved. Okay, now I think uh, focus shift issue is properly explained. If you have any further questions about this, please leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. Cheers.